theoretical framework of civil society. So there is a diversity of definitions available regarding defining the civil society because in every context, uh, many philosophers, many thinkers and experts of the field, they define civil society in their own perspective. Like, according to Warren, civil society refers to varied and multifaceted associational structures that have quite distinct effects on governance. So we can say, according to this definition, that civil society can be defined that how it can affect and how much it can affect. Can you civil society? Definitely a portion hai us society ka jisko wo represent kari hai. Lekin iski definition ka taalu kis cheez se hai? Ke ye government ke kis sector ko influence karti hai? Ni various sectors hai na government ke to which sector can be influenced by the particular portion of civil society. Okay, civil society basically is ki jo definitions hai uske uh, uske faraiz ke हिसाब से उसकी ड्यूटीज के हिसाब से रोल के हिसाब से مختلف डेफिनेशंस अवेलेबल हैं लिटरेचर में सो सम डिजायरेबल एंड सम नॉट बिकॉज़ देयर आर वेरियस वैरायटीज सो कुछ बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट हैं विद कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ यूरोप एंड सम आर मोस्टली रेलेवेंट विद द लैटिन अमेरिका सो वी कैन से दैट इन द मॉडर्न टाइम पीरियड द प्लूरिस्टिक एंड द uh complex societies all over the world democracy has been argued by wherein depends upon a number of associational contributors including those that develop the cap- capacities of citizens enable public judgments and underwritten democratic institutions such as representations because government is very vast concept and specifically in the democratic systems government has to do has to perform lot of duties so what type of role civil society has to influence which dimensions of government functions because the civil societies they are uh, actually playing a very vital role uh, basically in the process of democratization and the consolidation process democrat democracy ek step hai jiske bahut sare functions hain लेकिन असल बात यह है कि डेमोक्रेटाइजेशन का प्रोसेस कितना स्मूथली चल रहा है और सिविल सोसाइटी बेसिकली हेल्प आउट करती है गवर्नमेंट को डेमोक्रेसी को टुवर्ड्स डेमोक्रेटाइजेशन के असल में मॉस्टरे के अंदर डेमोक्रेसी से रिलेटेड कौन सी नॉर्म्स हैं कौन सी वैल्यूज हैं और उन पर कहां पर काम जो है वो करना जरूरी है सो वी कैन से दैट वन कैन फाइंड द roots of civil society deeply planted in both the liberal and the marxist tradition of european political thought ye uh, basically civil society jo hai wo chahe wo marxist philosophy dekh lijiye chahe wo western philosophy dekh lijiye hame shuru se hi nazar aata hai ki har philosopher jo hai wo baat karta hai ki civil society ek aisa concept hai jo uske baghair mulk ka nizam government jo hai wo properly नहीं चल पाता क्योंकि लोगों की आवाज कम हो जाती है अगर सिविल सोसाइटी इफेक्टिव ना हो सो जॉन लॉक थॉमस हॉब्स दे ऑल हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट द कांसेप्ट ऑफ द वॉइसेस ऑफ द पीपल एंड दे हैव हाइलाइटेड अ स्पेसिफिक एंटिटी व्हिच कैन बी रिलेटेड विद द सिविल सोसाइटी सो इन द लिबरल वर्ल्ड द सिविल सोसाइटी इज आइडियली a realm in which citizens pursue their comprehensive ends and develop the principles practices and virtues conducive to the democratic government so uh, from classical uh, liberals towards the uh, modern uh, thoughts and thinkers we can highlight that they all have talked about the a uh, concept of civil society they have highlighted various roles of civil society and even they have highlighted the importance of civil society in strengthening the government in strengthening the 
promotion of the democratic values in the society so we can say in the process of consolidation of uh, democracy all over the world actually civil society is the instrument which has lot of duties and they are trying to pursue and promote their with the help of their role the uh, strengthening of democracy